today we're going to be talking about the logged in user versus the current user. And so if you've watched our video on the intro to magic text, which I'll link below, then you understand that you're going to get situations where you're going to need to use information from the database, either on the logged in user or on what we call the current user. A logged in user is the user of the app who is logged in and currently using the app. The current user is a user that is selected from a list. This is pretty complex to explain just using my words. And so today we're going to walk through an app example to show you where I'm using logged in user data versus current user data. To set up my app today, I started with a brand new app experience from our drop down menu up here to create a new app. And then I added a simple list here to my home screen and I added some text logged in user. And then I used my magic text to select the logged in user's full name. I also added several users to our database, six to be exact, with profile pictures and then the rest of their information filled in. In our simple list, we selected that it is a list of users. In our title section, I went ahead and used magic text. You can see right here, we're already hinting at this is going to be a current user. And again, because we're in a list, we're selecting data using current user. So I went ahead and selected their full name. In the subtitle section, I didn't actually put anything right now, but let's add something. Let's use their email address. Great, and then in the left section, I used their profile photo, and we selected that from the database. You can see again, current user, profile photo. All right, when we select a person inside this list, we want to go ahead and send us over to a brand new screen. Let's go ahead and say add action, link to a new screen, and we're going to select a new screen from this screen templates section. We can choose account settings and go ahead and select that. Create screen, perfect. Here you can see that we have an image in here that is a static image. That means that no matter which user you selected in the list on the previous screen, you would continue to see this photo. So we wanna update that to say, we're taking an image from the database and now here is where we get our current user or our logged in user. Since we're making an account settings page for each one of our users, we're actually going to use current user's profile photo. Then we can go ahead and select this name Jane Smith and we're going to update it to say current user's full name. Same thing with email address. Current user's email. Great. Here in the account settings area, I'm actually going to insert some text here that says logged in user, and then I'm gonna select the logged in user's email. So now when we visit this screen, we're going to see the email address of the person that we're logged in as, and we're going to see the profile of the person we're looking at, the current user. Let's go ahead and add a, some navigation here. We'll need a button, an icon, put that up here. Instead of right, we'll choose left to signify that we're going back. Let's make that a little bit larger so we can see it. And we'll add a link action to head back. Great. All right, let's view this app. Because I know the login information for each one of the users in my database, I'm going to go ahead and click already have an account and we're gonna sign up here. We'll sign in as Jackson. Great. 
The logged in user is Jackson Davis. That's who I just signed in as. And then here is a list of all of the users of my app. If I go ahead and I click on Liam Anderson, you can see that now Liam Anderson's information, which we selected as the current user, shows up here. And you can see that in the logged in user, we're still logged in as Jackson. Now, if we go back, we can select someone else, Sophia Brown, and you can see that this information changes again. So to recap, the current user is a user that is selected from a list. The logged in user is the person who is navigating the app and is logged in. So Jackson is logged into this app and as he is navigating, his information is carried through to each one of the screens. All right, let's go ahead and add a log out button. So I can show you how this works for several different people. So first I'm gonna put an action that says we'll log out our user and then we're gonna head back to the log in screen. So if I go back to view my app and refresh, you'll notice that the button now shows up and I can go ahead and log out. Now let's log in as Noah. Now you can see that the logged in user is Noah Thompson. And then here again is my list of users. And when I select a user, Emma Johnson, her information shows up here and our logged in user is still Noah. The same thing is true if we go through this whole entire list that we're going to continue seeing that Noah is logged in and the current user is whichever user that was selected from this list. Now you can see if I'm Noah Thompson and I'm logged in and I'm going to go and see all of the profiles for these various users, I don't actually need to see my own information in this list because I am the logged in user. Let's say in your text message app, for example, you wouldn't see your own name in a list of your text messages because you're not having a conversation with yourself, you're having a conversation with others. So let's update this list to filter out the logged in user. Here, this is a list of our logged in users and we're going to add a custom filter where the email is not equal to the logged in user's email. So what this is saying is show us a list of all users except for the user whose email is equal to the logged in user. Or said another way, we want to see everybody who doesn't have the email address that's associated with the logged in user. So now that we've added that, we can come back over here to our app. And the expected behavior here is that Noah Thompson is no longer going to be in the list. Let's see if that works. I don't see Noah Thompson in this list anymore. Awesome. So I hope this little tutorial showed you the difference between the logged in user and the current user. Again, the current user is a user that is selected from a list. In other tutorials, we'll talk about a current item or a current insert the name of your collection. And it's going to sh have the same exact rules. The current item is one record that is selected from a list. This is pretty complex to understand. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I will do my best to get you answers as soon as possible. Thank you for being here.